What's going on guys? It's Phoenix back for another video. Um, just a quickie because I want to do some initial thoughts on this guy here. This is Open and Play's Big Cannon. Um, they're classics-ish, uh, Galvatron, bleh. Um, I know, I guess, technically their last release, their Springer, Big Spring, was kind of a masterpiece alike. Um, this is by no means a masterpiece alike Galvatron. So if people are thinking it's going to, it's, it's that when it's out a little bit more, although I think it is at, um, Big Bad Toy Store and TF Source in those places. It's not a masterpiece alike, so don't go into getting this figure thinking that. Um, also, if I'm being honest, see if you can check, like, the tertiary market for Big Cannon here. I'm just gonna keep calling him Galvatron for the rest of this video, because he goes for about 60 plus whatever shipping on Big Bad and TF Source, and I'm assuming comparable places. So unless you're getting him to like pad out a box of stuff that you're already getting from any of those places, specifically Big Bad and TF Source, I don't really recommend him for 60. Um, to me, he just kind of feels like it's not worth that. Um, MGO said it best with his review of Galvatron here, and that he's kind of like, a reimagined Titan's Return Galvatron. And yeah, that's what I honestly was expecting from this guy. And honestly, I could have gotten him at uh, TFCon DC because they did have him on display and available for purchase there um, through a vendor that I guess they had hired or whatever. Um, but for whatever reason, I didn't, even though I did fiddle around with him quite a bit at the show. And... Yeah, I just, I really like him, but you have to definitely go in knowing that he is just a proper classic Scalvatron and that he is basically reimagined, inspired by Time's Return Galvatron. Um, and that toy was kind of crap. Um, honestly, considering that I got him for about just short of a uh, $40 US, so was it liters are about 45 now at retail so about eight dollars less than what liter class figures go for now at retail i'm very happy i've only fiddled around with him a little bit um just here and there over the past five hours or so since he came in the mail but i got him for less than a liter goes for from overseas off of ebay really good shipping um shipping that took half the time that Masterpiece Megatron KO did, but whatever. And yeah, I'm really happy with him. Honestly, my only issues with him, and he is going to be my classic Scalvatron, are that this panel is a little flippy floppy. Um, I just, I feel like it could tab in more securely or that there could have done, that there could have been something other than that to tab it in better. Um, it's just the pin joint here feels really loose. Um, or feels a little bit too flippy floppy. Um, and there is a certain, like, hollow feel to him. He definitely has some good quality weight to him. But at the same time, like, if you tap him in certain places, like, the plastic does feel a little bit hollow. So, in that way, it is kind of knockoff-ish. But at the same time, I'm completely okay with that. Um, he's just, he's a good solid chunk bot of a figure and i'm honestly really really happy with him and hey better late than never because i could have gotten him for pretty much about this price uh at tfcon dc so i just ended up getting him four months later roughly so yeah i don't know he's just really cool and he's gonna be my proper classic skeleton because we all know that we've needed one um it's not gonna show up because the quality of these videos is crap, but just take a look at that head sculpt. I mean, say what you will about open and play, but they do head sculpts really well. So, yeah. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever that happens to be. Again, just some initial thoughts on uh, open and play's big canon. Maybe I'll do another video after I've fiddled around with him more, transformed him several times. Probably not. Whatever. Anyhow, see you guys in the next one.